All right, I'm here with Alexis Flaherty. Big game, big road win in the Western Iowa Conference on the road. Uh, give a little comment on your guys' big win tonight, Alexis. It, for one, it feels great. And every single person on the team did all they needed to do, even including our people on the bench cheering us on and giving us support in practices and preparing us for this game. So, yeah, you're talking about preparing for this game. We, uh, You know, a trainer comes out and they press. That's how they get their, their gains. That's how they get their points. But you guys had a good job breaking, breaking that press all night. Was that something Coach Sunderland uh, stressed to you guys all week? Yes, very much so. Right. Over and over again, made us do it. And then uh, how, what was your guys' strategy on that? Just uh, staying calm and composed, or was he trying to get you guys to actually speed up? Staying calm and composed and not letting them speed us up, play how we play. All right, and then you had a big matchup with uh, with uh, Ella Tarks tonight. I mean, she's probably one of the rare ones taller than you. What was your approach on uh, kind of going against her tonight? Uh, try not to let it intimidate me, having her be taller than me, and just play how I always play. Mm. All right, excellent. And then, like, uh, with the uh, these winter storms going on, you guys have kind of had a rough schedule going on. You haven't really gotten to the rhythm. Uh, what's it been like, you know, having games postponed and – Finally, get back into it. You guys knock, uh, knocking the rust off of things, or mm -hmm. how are you guys feeling about that? Uh, it was very weird having games postponed and all this stuff, and having it somewhat back to normal feels great. And getting a win after coming back to normal is an amazing feeling. Yeah, I bet it is amazing. <laughs> Nonetheless, you guys come away with a big road win. Congratulations on that win and good playing tonight, Alexis. Thank you. I'm here with Coach Sunderland. Big Western Iowa Conference road to win tonight. Actually snapping a 20 thing, 23 game losing streak. Uh, Tri Center events trainer. So, Coach, just give a comment on the big road win tonight. You know, obviously, you know, anytime you can get a win uh, in the Western Iowa Conference, it's you know, it's a good feeling. You know, any any win you can get is great. But you know, I'm not sure one's really any bigger than the other. You know, you're it's a uh, it's a battle night in and night out, and you got to grind it out this time of year. And, you know, and that. So, you know, I think a lot of credit to our kids. Uh, we came up with a new game plan, um, and that I thought they did a trainer did an outstanding job at our place and in, in defending us. And told the kids, I said, we're going to scrap that. We're going to come up with a little new game plan. And uh, we threw some new wrinkles in, and you know, kids got to make shots, and they were able to do that tonight. I mean, I was going to definitely bring up that game plan you guys came up with because the obvious of it was is that you broke their their press was going to be something they do, and you guys pretty much all night broke it pretty well. So. What was your guys' big emphasis on uh, approaching the game? You know, obviously our, our first emphasis, take care of the basketball. You know, and it comes down to little things in the game of basketball. The ball fakes, uh, moving the defense with your eyes with the basketball, uh, making the right pass at the right time, and then making good decisions when you have it. You know, and understanding, hey, can we attack the basket? Do we pull the ball back out? So, you know, a lot of credit. We uh, Our scout team in uh, practice has done an outstanding job as well. You know, like I told the kids after the game, it's not just the five kids that, that took the shooting shirts off and played, or six or seven, you know, our scout team deserves a lot of credit as well. They're doing a great job of, of uh, preparing us as well. But uh, like I said, I thought we made some good decisions, um, 80, 85 feet from the basket, and, you know, gave ourselves a chance 10, 15 feet from the basket. Uh, so let's flip it over to the other side of the ball. You guys' defensive strategy, I mean, I'm going to call it a soft zone of sorts just because you didn't extend yourself so much. That doesn't mean you guys weren't intense. Is that not to give your guys a strategy away too much, but do you guys often play zone or was that like a this game specifically it worked so well and you guys stayed in it? Yeah, we play, you know, a lot of two three zone, um, you know, and that and I thought we did a better job of getting our hands up and uh, guarding a little bit better, especially around the perimeter. We still gave them plenty of good looks. I mean, I think we're fortunate that they didn't knock down some of those shots. They, you know, certainly probably didn't shoot as well as they were hoping, but uh, you know, hopefully credit a little bit to our defense, but uh, I thought uh, the bigger thing is we didn't allow a lot of second and third shot opportunities four feet from the basket, and uh, we got fortunate they missed some shots, uh, some good looks that they had, but, you know, defensively, I, th I think we took some things away that uh, where they beat us last time at our place, and, uh, you know, like I said, credit to our kids uh, with high hands and uh, hopefully eliminating a lot of second and third shot opportunities for them. All right, most definitely. And then uh, let's just comment a little bit on the uh, weird scheduling that's going on. You know, you guys had a bunch of games postponed. Has that been something tough for you guys had to deal with? I know every team has to deal with it, but you don't know how it's going to affect everybody. So I'll just give a little comment on these weird last winter storms affecting things. Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest thing is, you know, everybody's in that same situation. It's not just us, but, uh, you know, everybody's trying to grind out this time of year. They're playing three to four games, you know, in five days or six days. So everybody's in that same boat. You know, it's just a matter of understanding your personnel. You know, are you going to go hard? What are the details that, hey, we've got to make sure we go through or are we going to go light and uh, try and save some energy? But I think maximizing what you do in practice, 
you know, was going to be a key for us down the stretch here. We played last Saturday, I thought, too, uh, a North Bend team that was really, really good in Nebraska. Uh, they've won some state championships and played on longer floor at Sokol. So, you know, I went back to our kids and said they beat us by 26. But, you know, I think that still helped us get ready for this game. We saw the same athleticism, um, same, you know, good athletes, good shooters and that. So, you know, I think it's just a matter of knowing your team this time of year. You know, what can we do? What can we not do? And, uh, you know, trying to rest the legs, but still try and um, hit the main points of what your opponents are going to do. Yeah, even though you got a lot of games coming up, go ahead and enjoy this one tonight, Coach. Congratulations on that big Western Iowa Conference road win, and definitely enjoy it tonight. Yeah, like I said, I you know I, I want the kids to enjoy it. You know, I've been in the profession long enough. There's you know there's un, I've been fortunate to have some really good athletes. There's been some big wins along the way, but I want our kids at Tri Center to enjoy it and understand the the hard work that they're putting in. The uh, demanding coach that I am that, you know, those things are going to start to pay off if you uh, simply buy in. All right. Congratulations, Coach Sundel and big win tonight. Thank you. Thank you.